Oh, hey there. I was just eating an apple. As I eat this apple, it, um, it comes to an end. You know, all things come to an end. And our Milky Way galaxy, it will come to an end in a very similar fashion. Our closest neighbor, Andromeda, is going to eat our galaxy, just like I'm eating this apple. Okay, stop. What? Our galaxy is going to be eaten? Andromeda is going to eat us? What? We must fight back. And we don't have too long to fight back. Only about 4 billion years from now. Alright, alright, look. I get the urge to panic. But I think we need to take a step back just a bit. First, let's talk about what a galaxy is and what Andromeda is. So, have you ever seen a picture that looks something like this? Or this? Or maybe even this? Those are galaxies. What these galaxies are are basically just these gravitationally bound systems of stars, gas, dust, and planets. And by the way, at the center of every galaxy, there's a supermassive black hole. Supermassive black hole at the center? Yo, that's gnarly, bro! Yeah. Um, it is actually, and each galaxy contains thousands of other stars and planets and gas and dust, you name it. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way, and Earth, the Sun, and the seven other planets in our solar system are just a tiny dot in the huge Milky Way galaxy. Now get this, our galaxy is not alone. There are millions of other galaxies out there just like ours, and some even bigger than ours. We're going to be focusing on one particular galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, why Andromeda, you ask? That's a good question. Andromeda is our closest galactic neighbor. Of all the galaxies out there, it's the galaxy that is closest to our own Milky Way. Also, the Andromeda Galaxy is just straight up evil. It literally wants to eat us in 4 billion years. I mean, look at that galaxy. Does that look like a decent astronomical being to you? That is not a celestial object you want to trust. Okay, so you may be wondering how we know the Andromeda Galaxy is going to eat us. After all, it's a pretty harsh accusation to accuse someone or something of wanting to eat you. Uh, did you just accuse me of wanting to eat you, Milky Way? What kind of neighbor are you, rude? Well, the good thing is we aren't just making this accusation based off of nothing. We have some pretty solid scientific evidence to back it up. The Andromeda Galaxy is slowly and gradually approaching the Milky Way on a collision course with it at 110,000 meters per second or approximately about 245,000 miles per hour. Now, we didn't just measure that speed by pointing a radar gun at the Andromeda Galaxy. We measured it with science. You see, every object emits light in waves that we can see through telescopes and advanced technology, of course. Now, if that object emitting light in waves is moving towards us, then something will happen called a Doppler shift. Its waves will decrease in wavelength, and that will result in its light waves shifting towards a bluer color. And this is exactly the case that we've seen with the Andromeda Galaxy approaching us. The idea of light waves changing their length, changing their wavelength, is part of the idea of a Doppler shift. Now, to better understand a Doppler shift, let's consider the following analogy. So, standing about 10 feet away from you is me. I'm standing here and I'm continuously throwing you balls at the constant rate of one ball every three seconds. Just like this. One, two, three. Yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! One, two, three. Yeah! Now, think about what happens as I get closer to you. Imagine that I take a few steps forward, uh, maybe two or three feet, 
and I'm still throwing the balls to you at that constant rate of one ball every three seconds, just like this. One, two, three, yeah! Now think about what happens as you start receiving the balls. You'll start receiving them more often. In fact, if you were to graph the amount of balls you receive over time, it would look something like this graph, with the frequency of the amount of balls you received increasing after I start taking those steps towards you. This is exactly what the light waves of the Andromeda galaxy are doing. The light waves of the galaxy are like the balls that I was throwing you. But as the entire object moves towards us, as the entire Andromeda galaxy moves closer to the Milky Way, just like I was taking a few steps forward towards you, we see the light waves at a higher frequency. And because we see them at a higher frequency, they shift towards the color blue. And that shift in color indicates that the entire object, the galaxy, is moving towards us. Okay, so now we know that the Andromeda galaxy is going to collide with us. And it's going to eat us. Based on the speed that the galaxy is moving towards us, it's expected that the collision is going to be happening pretty soon. Only 4 billion years from now. Hey bud, uh, I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye earlier, but it looks like we only have, what, 4 billion years before the Andromeda galaxy decides to eat ours? But if you stop and think about it, I mean, 4 billion years from now, we humans may not even be here when that happens. It ain't that bad. In fact, the collision itself shouldn't even be too bad. Many experts theorize that the collision between the Andromeda galaxy and our Milky Way will only affect parts of the Milky Way that are really far away from us here on Earth. So Earth and whatever is living on it at that time may not even be too badly affected. Also, Andromeda has done this before. It's collided with other galaxies before, full on or even in partial forms. It's just part of the natural order of the universe. And it's worth mentioning that our Milky Way is no saint when it comes to eating galaxies. Our Milky Way has done it maybe once or twice before. Milky Way, how could you? This is the way our universe works. Everything keeps expanding and moving away from each other. And sometimes those things collide. I know I won't be there 4 billion years from now when our Milky Way collides with the Andromeda Galaxy. But if you are, well, 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 I guess just enjoy the collision. Well, it's the end of this video now, and at least now you're prepared for our galaxy to be eaten. You learned about what's going to happen in 4 billion years, and how Doppler blue shifts tell us that it is going to happen. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, and subscribe for me, and I will see you soon.